Hey what's up guys, Jared here, and today we're going to be working on part 4 of how to make our music streaming app. So if you've missed parts 1, 2, or 3, check the links in the description down below. Uh, but today we're going to be working on specifically how to actually stream the music. We're going to be putting our music up into Firebase Storage, and then linking that into our database, all of the storage files. And then we're going to be downloading that storage file into our application and streaming and playing the music as we go. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started on this part, I really like this YouTube artist called Vexento. He's awesome. He makes some amazing music. So I'm going to be using some of him, his music um, as part of this demo. And so I'm going to go ahead and download a couple of these files, and we're going to be using these inside of our actual project. And so, yeah, for now I have two songs. Let's just start off with that, and we'll see how that works. And so now going into my storage, I get started, and then once you have this created, we're going to go ahead and upload a file. But first, we need to create a folder. This is going to be my songs folder. And then we're going to upload a file here. So if we grab those two, let's open those, and then those are downloading. And then we should be able to reorganize these into, or maybe not, apparently not. <laughs> okay, so let's actually just delete those. And then going back into our songs file, this is where we want to upload these files actually. So let's do that again. All right, and now that we have those uploaded, we can actually take these and with each of these, they have their own specific file location and also, yeah, the storage location here. And so if we were to actually take this, we copy the file location, we take that, go into our Firestore, and then let's say this is for song one here. So we're going to add a new uh, field into the song one called the file or if you want to yeah let's we, we can make it like the song or something I don't know depends on what you want to do but I think I'll call it file because that just makes sense to me and then we put the file in there and that should be the storage location so now going back into our application uh, we also need to grab the song file so we need to do some changes in terms of our song here we save our file colon string. We hit command us to save that. Build and run, that's going to show us all of the errors that we have because of that. And so this is the first error here. Um, let me see. So if we do that, let's just have all of these as empty strings really because this is never going to get called and that should fix everything. And then we also need to do it for the appending to the songs array here. So for the file, we also need to grab the file. So I'm going to say let song file equal song dot value. And then this is of course going to be file as the string. Otherwise error. Or we could have it fall back onto a different file or something like that. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Then we're just going to put the song file inside of there. And then now we want to start playing the song file as we load it. So now we have a song, we have all that stuff working. How are we actually going to play it? Uh, going back to our player view here, we need to say dot on appear. And on appearance, what do we want to do? Well, we want to actually grab the download URL of this storage location. So how are we going to do this? And so we need to go ahead and say import Firebase first and foremost. And then we go down here and we say self, or sorry, storage dot storage dot reference for URL in the which we're going to be referencing what our self dot song dot file because that file is what we set over here and then we say storage dot download URL in the which we have a completion so it's going to return a URL and an error so if error is not equal to nil then we'll do this otherwise we're going to do this and so if there is an error, we want to print out the error, correct? But if there's not an error, we actually want to play our music. So we can put in here AV player, and it looks like we're actually going to have to import first AV foundation. And now we should be able to say AV player, open parentheses, with the URL of the URL that we just created. And then if it's necessary, yeah, we need to add an exclamation mark after that. And then we say let player equal that. And then we say player dot play. And let's give that a shot. Okay, so we have this up 
and running. We click on song one and we should be getting the download URL. Let me see. Oh, it says permission denied. So we need to actually grab permission in order to access our storage here. And we're just going to do this the easy way. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's equal equal to null right here. This means like we don't have any authorization and we can read and write. So, but really what you want to do is make sure that um, we have this better written. So let's say actually we say allow read if this is true, but we also allow write only if request dot auth is not equal to null. And that way you need an actual account in order to uh, write, but anyone can read. And that should be the same for both that and also I guess our Firestore if we wanted to change that up as well. But let's worry about that a bit later. Okay, build and run this again and we should actually get access to the file storage. So maybe one of the things that we need to do is actually make this a public thing. So if we say let player equal AV player and then also another thing that I'm thinking about is maybe it doesn't have the correct permissions. So if we go into the project Let's go to signing and capabilities. Let's add a capability and I just want to make sure there's something here for sound. Well, I guess background modes should be in here in terms of like audio and stuff so that we can actually play this music in the background. That would be something important to add. So then going back here, we can say instead of saying pl let player, we say player will be equal to this. It says it's a let constant, so let's actually change that. So it's var player will be equal to an AB player and then we're making it set to that and we say player.play and then with this play pause we say if is playing is equal equal to true then we do this otherwise we do this and so if it is playing we want to stop it right so we're going to say player.pause and then we say player.play otherwise okay let's play that oh and it says it is immutable so i guess we need to say at state var player will be equal to that. Okay, let's try playing that. And let's see if that hopefully fixes our issue that we were having before. And I'm clicking play pause just to see if that'll do anything, but currently no song seems to be playing. Ah. So something to note here is the audio will only play if you have your ringer turned on at the moment. So ringer off music doesn't work. Ring your on, works. Also our pause play button does work, but it's backwards at the moment. <laughs> so we're gonna have to fix that in just a little bit. Um, so yay, that's working pretty great. Okay, um, so another thing that I was hoping that I could do real quick is right now we have the current song and the album. So one thing that we need to do is go to the next song and the previous song. Now, there's very sophisticated ways that we could do this, but what I would really want to do is just go back and forth between these, the songs on the certain album that we are on. And so the way that we're going to do that is, first off, let's go ahead and just switch this around. So if is playing is equal to false, then we say pause and play. And that should fix the issue that we were having where this was backwards. I wonder if there's a way play audio without ringer on swift xcode google to the rescue so this is where we say ab audio session dot shared instance dot set category as ab audio session blah 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 okay so i guess we do this here let's just copy that and then yeah when we're setting everything up we do this and then hopefully we don't get any issues and it looks like something has changed ab audio session dot category dot playback and then now we shouldn't need a ringer for this to work so i turn my ringer off now and we click on a song and skip the breakpoint and there we go now it's start playing it's actually playing the song so first off, we need to find out the current index of our current song. So we're going to say if let current index equal, and then this is going to be equal to my album dot, and then we say songs dot index, and then I guess we say first index of, and then we put our current song. So this is going to be the index, and then we say let song 
like we're going to let our current song equal the the album dot songs then we're going to go for the index of our current index plus one and then what this needs to do is it needs to be an optional so we're going to say instead of saying let song it should be actually song is equal to this oh it says song is immutable so i guess this needs to be an at state private var song and then at state private var album. Now the only issue with this is we need to make sure that we can't go further than our last song. So we need to say if if our current index is equal equal to our album dot songs dot count then we can present maybe an alert to the user or we just do nothing. Right now I'm just not going to do anything. Otherwise we are going to advance to the next song. Now for the other one, for the previous version, we're going to basically take that, do the exact same thing, except we're going to say minus one on that case. So let's go ahead and build and run that and let's just see how that works. Oh, it says that they are private. I didn't mean to make them private. Sorry, that's my bad. So at state var, at state var, perfect, run. <laughs> All right, so now that it is built and ran, we can go ahead, click on song two. It's going to start playing that. As you can see, it already has the pause button there and it starts playing it. We can pause it. And let's see if we can advance to the next one. So I think, okay, we did advance to the next song. I think we did the songs, but when the song changed, we didn't stop playing the current song. So we need to fix that. We're going to have to basically take all this right here and let's put this in its own function. We're gonna say funk play song and so when we say on up here we're going to say self dot play song because that's the first thing that we want it to do but in terms of this when we click next we want to stop the song that's currently playing so we're going to say player dot or i guess player dot pause that works for me and then we switch up the song and then we say self dot player or self dot play song and then basically we need to do the exact same thing with this one down here. So self.play song, self.pause, and then self.play song after we change the song. Okay, and that should work. Now, another issue that I did notice is I went too far and that's because album.songs.count should be minus one because um, the way the arrays count, they always start at zero, whereas count goes up to one, two, three, four, and so on. So we need to say minus one. And then I also realized that inside of Firestore, I actually have the same song for both of the songs. So we're gonna have to ch switch that up, but song one. Okay, we click next. It's going to stop the song, and then it's gonna start playing the second song. Perfect. Oh, and also just to make sure that it doesn't go further, Okay, doesn't break there. And also if it goes previous, does that do anything? Oh, I see what it's doing. So for this one here, because we're going minus, we need to say if current index is equal equal to zero, then we do nothing. Okay, so now, now that we have that done, let me go ahead and try switching out the songs here. So I'm gonna go into the Firebase storage or the Fire Store here. And let's try it out with a different song. So going into my Firebase storage, I'm gonna to go to my songs. I think I used Flare, the last one. Yeah, I was using Cloud9, so I'm gonna use the Flare this time around. I'm gonna to go to the file location. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna go over to my Cloud Fire store, go over to our albums, go to the second song here. I'm gonna switch that out. I'm gonna update that, simple as that. And then now, if we build and run this application again, we should see two different songs at least if Firebase Firestore actually updates the application in time. But we should see those two different songs and it should play and pause and do everything that we need it to. So here we are, we have song one. And you can see here that it did load Cloud9 and Flare. So we do have two different songs. Nice. And then going back, we have song one. I think I loaded those in backwards but that works <laughs> but we do have two different songs we can't advance further than more than the album yeah and so it goes song two then song one it's backwards but whatever and so another thing is we don't currently have any songs inside of album two but if we were to do that let me just edit add another field here i'm going to go to fields i'm going to go to file and then we're going to paste that in there uh, we're just going to use the flare one then let's uh, reload our application again 
And now when we click on album two, we should have this one loading up a song as well. Yay! Anyway, there you guys have it. That is how you make a music player application inside of Swift with Xcode. It was a lot of fun doing this. It was a lot of playing around. Hopefully you guys got to see a lot of my trial and error stuff as well. Um, I think it was a lot of fun to try and see how this uh, format of video could be done. And I'm glad I finally finished this video after all these years. <laughs> um, if you guys have any comments, questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I always check comments. I'm not always quick to answer them, but I do my best. And another thing, if you do want these files, I have them all in a GitHub file down below. So go check that out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, if you're wondering, I realized after the video was done that I forgot to film an intro, so that's why I have a different haircut and whatnot. <laughs>